and you know I got to give you give it up to you too is like you know I sit in my room man, after those practices I'm like yo what is this guy what is he like he wears glasses so how in the world do you see somebody behind him you know so I think and that's you know some of those times and coach Crest created those those tension to get the best of our best wow. out of us um so yeah just and I, I, I'm happy to play with the people that I play with right and you know I learned how to be a point guard by watching you right. I didn't I didn't know how to be a point. I didn't know how to pass. You know, coming from Berg and, and at the Fork, in the Fork Union, my job was to put the ball in the hole. And when we get to the College of Charleston and, and Coach Crash system, you had to think the game. Right, you right. had to think the game. And I think you, you know, was the epitome of knowing what a coach want and then right. exercising that on the court. Man, you know man, what I mean? We had so many weapons. And my gift was, and I, my passion was passing the ball. But you could have scored. I could score, but it was so much more for me to love. I love seeing everyone else be able to get and eat. And I was still having fun because we were winning. And the only thing I had to do is pass and give you no look. I knew you like coming off those curls. You like coming off those fades. And, and I had so many great weapons. Man, basketball was so much fun. Man. So much fun. Yeah. And you're right. You had weapons, man. Yeah. Like, you had, the, you had the easiest job in America. Yeah. yeah. You had, like, <laughs> all you had to do was supply the, supply the guns with bullets. Yeah. That's all you had to do. Exactly. And it was, it was awesome. Right. Um, so, you know, transition into uh, next segue when we're talking about um, the real world. You know, um, how does how did basketball and Coach Crest's system and the discipline, how did that prepare you for the next level? What, what What's some things that you can pick out that really, really you use today to, to um, expand your success and your career moving forward? Well, having a game plan and being able to uh, assess the situation and then coming up with some kind of formula that I can use to benefit me and create success. Uh, and also building a solid team and create a competitive environment that gives you the best option and, and helps you to win. I mean, those are things that I, I, I do on a daily basis and I try to teach my team uh, how to win, how to prepare, how to be focused. You know what I'm saying? What's your strengths? What's your weaknesses? And then try to build on that and then create that competitive environment that's fun, that's also just develop and create wins. So that's what I do on a consistent basis now in my career. And, uh, you know, I'll piggyback off that. You know, I, I joke a lot. When we had practices, we had to be at practice at 716, yeah. 712. Right. How are you going to be late for 712? Right. You can be late for 715 right. or 7 o'clock, but 712? Right. And so he used those little small things. We have so much talent. If you came in at 713 and we supposed to be at 712, then you might not start. Right. He had to use those small things to make to make decisions because we had so much weapons and right. so much talent on one team. And so you fast forward to the day, like I'm very, very punctual. Yep. I Thank know you. how important time is, right. communication, the yep. relationships. I mean, it all came from, and not just Coach Crest, Earl Brown, uh, uh, Coach Eric, all my coaches, I was, I was blessed to have that type of, uh, so support and direction helped me be successful today. I think so too. Uh, Mark Freeze was my high school coach, so he kind of tucked me up under my wing, like Earl took you up under his wing. Uh, just being punctual, being uh, being able to prepare, how to prepare, and uh, being able to separate yourself from your friends to do what's best for you, for you to be able to make that next step in life. That's important. That's and, uh, important. And those those seven twelves, I still use that right now because those <laughs> are numbers that stick out to your head. So. Most people are here in 715, 730, but 712, 716. You can't be late for that. You cannot be late for that. Right. And we understood that being 15 minutes was being on time. Being there on time is being there late. Exactly. So those are things that I've used today that is just ingrained in us right now that helps us with our life. Right. Help us with what we do. So. And I'll I tell a funny story before we go into the next uh, topic was, you know, we had video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we walked in the video room and you got five spots. You got the three, four, and five. Right. Stacey Harris had the three lock. Yeah. Thad and Rodney had the four and five lock. Right. Right? Yes. So <laughs> out of that one and two spot, it just it depends on that day of practice. Right. You're right. So we're, we're going to, we're like, okay, I didn't see my name. Well, okay, somebody's got to die in practice today. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Because I need to get my name on that board. And that's. Like, that's the things that was dangling the carrot. Like, yeah. it made us better. Yeah, it did, Jermaine. I mean, me and you were so competitive the first two years, but it made us so much better. It made us better teammates. It made us better men because we know what, had, what it needs to take to do, you know what I'm saying, be successful. Right. We had to go there to work every day. We right. didn't have no days off. 
Right. So if I come in there slipping, you came in there hungry, and you you start eating. I'm like, and that was, but that was, that's what I think build just success. I mean, you you create that right environment. You create that competition, which is healthy, which is good. I mean, you don't win all the time, but some of those losses that I had are the best learning lessons that I ever had in my life. Right, right. Winning doesn't always provide that, that feedback that you need. So sometimes when you take that lump, you're able to look this guy in the eye every day, and he's coming at you, you're coming at him, <laughs> and then the best thing about it, we both had opportunity to go at others. Exactly. <laughs> Dating me from another life.